This is a yoga ball drumming routine to Noise Storm Crab Rave Monster Cat release. I do not have any claim to the music. I am simply demonstrating some ways that you can use some of these songs and how you can use something as simple as yoga ball. All of this can also be used with any kind of hand drum. Dejembes, chubanos, congas, whatever you have in your classroom. If you have buckets, use them. This routine can be used with a lot of different things, and I bet that you can actually come up with some really, really cool things just using the instruments that you already have in your classroom. Maybe you have a bunch of tambourines. What can you do with this with tambourines? What can you do with this with lenakas? What can you do with this with rhythm sticks? There's a lot of things you can do. You place a piece of paper on the floor, eight and a half by 11. That's their drum pad. If you don't have drum pads, use your rhythm sticks. There's their drum. There's their rhythm sticks, their drum sticks. There's a lot of things that you can do. All right, so, now I'm going to show you how to do this with three balls, but you can also do it with just one ball, one bucket drum, one uh, dejembe or, or other hand drum drums. I am using drumsticks with the students right now. However, in the past, I have used pool noodles that I have cut down to about the size of drumsticks as far as the length goes. The nice thing about pool noodles is for a lot of students, it's a lot easier for them to hold on to. So that kind of makes it nice. On the yoga balls, we have, of course, our single strokes, top, single stroke side, single stroke other side. <laughs> you can have stick clicks. You can even play whatever they're on, especially if you have buckets, and you can play the buckets as well. And, of course, there's always tap on the floor. The only thing they cannot do is tap their neighbor. And so you're going to have to really watch that, especially if you are using the drumsticks, obviously. These are things that you automatically do in your classroom anyhow. You can set them up into a, what I call a drum line. And with this drum line routine, you could actually, instead of playing, let's say, on the side, you might play on your neighbor's drum. So as we are able to do more things, having the students a little bit closer, you can use the yoga ball drums for that as well. All of a lot of yoga ball drumming has to do with movement. You see, you might have reaching and stretching and things like that. So incorporate that. Get their feet moving. If you have the room, they can do these patterns and then walk halfway around the drum, do the pattern again, walk halfway back. So think of movement as well as the rhythms that they're playing. So this is going to start with ocean sounds. Do you have an ocean drum? Fantastic place to use it. What other ways can the students come up with to make ocean sounds? Do you have a plastic bin? Put some beans in there or something small, shake it slowly back and forth. There you go. You have an ocean drum. Vocalization gives the students a chance to be creative.
There you go. So I have this song broken up into different pieces parts. The first part is an echo. The little crabs there, they're playing one, two, cha-cha-cha. So they play first. One, two, cha-cha-cha. Now on the sides, you can do a double side if you want to. Really put some motion into it. Another way that part can be done, and this is normally with my older students, would be, or maybe you want to just choose a few of your students, not everybody has to play all of the same part. So on that same part, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, here we go. So you have your 16th notes going into your 8th notes. So maybe you have some kids that are, you know, they've really got it. Give them a more challenging part. If I haven't given it to you, write one. And then, stop. then we have quick, pop, quick, pop, quick, pop, side, stop. You can do that with three drums. Okay. So you see, instead of using the side of the yoga ball, you could use your neighbor's yoga ball. Or if you have enough, you could set it up with screws. You could do this again congo, the djembe, tubano, any kind of drum that you might have. Now, with your hand drums, you might have to get creative when you're talking about playing on the side. Maybe you don't want your students to learn to play on the body of the drum. Well, middle, middle, there's options, there's things that you can do. Then we have the long, nice, slow stretch, and that's where, like I said, with the yoga balls especially, it's a very physical thing. So you're getting, trying to get the entire body moving. So it's tap and reach, tap the side and reach. Other hand, tap and reach, tap the side and reach. Goes back to tap and reach, and reach, goes back to tap and reach, and sigh, and reach. You have more than one drum. And reach goes over there. And reach goes back to here, other hand. And reach goes over there. And reach the other hand, and there. And reach, and over. And reach, and And reach, and over. And reach back to here. I usually have the students, and either with a one step down, one step up, and then bring it down. Or in this case, it's bringing that down. So you want to try to make sure that you have some sort of an ending. If you use the same thing every time, I have found it helps that the students then aren't trying to, you know, get in some extra roles and things like that. So 
here is the whole thing.